Hello, hello, more dimmers here and welcome back to Magnus Carlsen Chess Tour Finals Day 2 of the Super Final and I would like to show you the game uh, which is the decisive game because Magnus Carlsen uh, managed to equalize after losing in the round one then, then he equalized and then we had the two blitzes and first blitz ended with the draw and this is decisive blitz so as you see uh, Magnus Carlsen gonna play as black and Hikaru Nakamura as white. The rankings are adjusted, so Hikaru Nakamura has legendary ranking 2900, so without further ado, let's see what happened on the board. Hikaru open with e4, we have e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop b5, and knight f6. Rui Lopez and uh, Berlin defense on the board. Bishop takes on c6, d takes on c6, and now d3. Uh, and I show you already in couple of games because you know Rui Lopez between Magnus Carlsen and Hikaru Nakamura it was played plenty of times uh, and I explain you know how you can take or cannot take both of these pawns so if you are interested check the games uh, I have all the list of Rui Lopez you can definitely master you know especially Berlin defense which was played plenty of times against these two Bishop c5. Usually Magnus Carlsen go for bishop c5 and bishop g4 setup, but this time bishop d6. So this is main line and Hikaru goes also for knight b2 d2. We have bishop g4 and here h3, bishop h5 and we have only one game in the database because usually this bishop should be, you know, uh, moved to e6 and it belongs to e6. However, Magnus Carlsen loves to move it to to g4 uh, and here yes g4 is the only move in the database but maybe Hikaru Nakamura has some you know bad memories because in one of the games where the bishop won on c5 after g4 and uh, Magnus actually sacrificed the the piece on g4 and get the very crazy attack with these pawns on the on the king side uh, so maybe Hikaru had the bad memories especially uh, at that time he moved the the knight to c3 and he had a lot of problems he had to retreat remaneuver it to d2 where it belongs and he uh, you know, that was miracle that he won that game. Magnus Carlsen uh, didn't have enough time to calculate very complicated position. Uh, and uh, that was just miracle that, that Hikaru Nakamura won that game. Also, if you haven't seen that, check over there. That happened during the Lindores Abbey tournament and, and it was just masterpiece. Uh, Knight c4. This was played by Hikaru Nakamura. So it's pretty standard in the Rui Lopez in the especially in the Berlin defense where you move this knight and you want to remaneuver it to f5. Uh, we have knight d7 so Magnus also want to remaneuver his knight to, to e6 where it belongs and now we have knight e3 as planned and now knight f8. Uh, knight f5 attacking g7 and now knight e6 just on time. So as you see both players uh, definitely know what they are doing. We have g4, bishop g6 um, and now bishop e3. And here c5 blocking this diagonal as uh, Magnus Carlsen want to castle on the queen side and this a7 pawn would hang and also create some kind of Marozzi bind in the center so slow down you know breakthrough in the center by Hikaru Nakamura. We have c3 so preparing d4 and now queen d7 preparing for castle and and now Hikaru uh, also don't want to stay with the king in the center. So we have queen c2, we have castle, castle and now f6 creating this very solid pawn chain. We have king b1, so moving the king to the safety, and Magnus does the same. Uh, we have d4, so breakthrough is coming, c takes on d4, and after exchanging all of these pieces, we have rook d4. Uh, and rook d4 prepares actually white to double the rooks on the on the d-file, and it looks pretty dangerous. For, for example, knight can take on d6, uh, and that means black gonna have the isolated pawn on d6, which gonna gonna be very easy to attack. This bishop can come, uh, pin the pawn, um, the rook can come to, to, to d1 
the queen and there are gonna be you know four attackers and it's impossible to actually defend that pawn so this is why bishop takes on f5 is actually forced we have e takes on f5 and now h5 by magnus carlsen so uh, magnus say okay uh hikaru you got rook h to d1 you got the you know you control the file however i want to you know open h file uh, and i want to operate on h5 uh, we have queen e7 getting out of this um, of this nasty pin. Now the bishop can come, for example, to e5. But now we have queen a4, uh, and it's pretty tricky because now the rook, for example, can come to e4 with the attack on the queen, but also with the attack on a7. Also, the rook can be sacrificed on d6 with, the, of course, the same idea. So it's pretty nasty. b6 by Magnus Carlsen very calmly uh, creating, you know, these pawns. These pawns now cannot penetrate uh, the position. And now we have queen c6. So what black did is actually weaken the light squares. However, uh, white doesn't have the light square bishop and doesn't have the, the knight. So it's not so, you know, easy um, to exploit that weaknesses on the... On the light squares uh, we have bishop e5 attacking the rook and now uh, everybody in the studio told that okay rook d8 exchanging everything and uh, that's gonna be a draw and uh, after let's say um king c2 uh black actually cannot you know enter the game and and somehow attack the, the king so everybody thought, okay, we're gonna have Armageddon. Everybody was ready for the Armageddon. However, Hikaru goes for Rook D7. And it looks like Mouse sleep, like, okay, he didn't exchange everything, but it's pretty, you know, um, nasty idea here. Now, after Rook D7, uh, he played rook d7 uh what he could play of course is it's very drawish queen d7 and after queen b4 this is the the mating idea very dangerous so bishop d4 and after exchanging everything that would be uh probably a draw uh hikaru nakamura didn't want to go for the draw all in before armageddon rook d7 attacking the queen so queen has to be moved and the idea is to just simply exchange the bishops um the bishop is defender of c7 and this would be actually checkmate on b7 pretty scary stuff magnus carlsen goes for queen b4 now um, attacking the pawn on b2 and also uh, watching at e1 and also keep in mind that this rook uh, is still waiting uh, for the queen uh, moving from this diagonal for now the queen you know controls a lot of squares and it's a very complicated position uh, we have bishop d4 by Hikaru Nakamura so he doesn't allow that and now of course the, the bishop cannot be taken because this is a checkmate uh, and also this is a serious threat okay exchanging the bishops and the checkmate in next move is a very very serious so Magnus Carlsen has to retreat with the bishop to the worst position we have bishop of d6 uh, and now uh, what Hikaru could play again is bishop e3 and this probably would be a draw uh, but Hikaru wants something more. Uh, also, Magnus could fight for the for the win here. Uh, for example, Queen G4 takes the takes the pawn, and uh, and also this is the, the another checkmate idea. So pretty crazy uh, position. Queen D5 would have to be played to control this square to control still keep the control on this square and after let's say bishop d5 white would probably want to go for a draw something like rook d8 exchanging this dangerous rook uh, and after let's say king b7 uh, this again could be threefold repetition or black could try to push c6 queen d7 maybe bishop c7 and try to you know continue the game black has you know extra pawn uh, these two pawns are are doubled so it's uh, Probably Magnus Carlsen could try to win that position. However, uh, Hikaru Nakamura goes for Queen e4. Queen e4 actually controls um, e1. It controls also h1 so the rook cannot enter the queen cannot enter but there is one problem with that move so uh feel free actually to pause the video and find maybe you don't need to pause the video it shouldn't be uh that difficult you have a lot of time still uh and hikaru nakamura this is the reaction of hikaru nakamura so um check it out 
And as you see, something went wrong. <laughs> Definitely something went wrong. And after Queen A4, Hikaru Nakamura resigned. There is of course a very very nasty fork attacking the rook and also checkmate on d1 and both of these threats cannot be defended and this is why Hikaru Nakamura resigned. What a game, what a game. So Magnus Carlsen equalized, so these are the final scores as you see. Uh, Hikaru Nakamura won the first match two and a half to one and a half and the second one uh, belongs to Magnus Carlsen three and a half to two and a half and today they gonna play another third match so stay tuned if, if you don't want to miss any other games you know press subscribe smash the bell button thanks for watching and see you in the next one.